100% Chelsea. Newcastle United 3, Chelsea 0, end of the season, falling apart. Now, before we even start, we had some slight technical issues, but it's kind of come as a bit of grace because we've just heard some comments from Antonio Conte. Lewis, what was it? What does it say? What, what does it say? What, what, the, what? what are the comments? What did Conte say? Conte said, if I remember correctly, um, he's the last person to speak on us not making the Champions League, and it's the club that they need to speak to. Right. right, I came out of the game and I didn't really have any emotion on it because it was the last game of the season and uh, I just thought it is what it is, we've just got to wait till next season. But then when Lewis said about that, I just thought, as a manager, you can't say things like that. The amount of money we've put in this season and you know what, the passion we've showed. We love this club to death, right? We love this club. And you're the manager of a team who's been so poor this season. I honestly... I'm surprised we got fifth, right? But we followed you over land and sea. We followed you across the country. And just please show, say something at least. Say, you've got to say something like, I'm sorry, it's been a terrible season. I'm going, to be, I'm going to be totally honest with the fans. You've been great this season. You've supported us through thick and thin because that's what you do as fans. That's what Newcastle fans have done when they've been through the dark times in the past year. It's been in the championship, but they've stayed and supported. Do you know what I mean? Rafa's showed that he's cared for them. I know obviously we don't protect, like don't really like Rafa, but at least he's shown he's cared. And I'm sorry, but he was Conte was standing there the whole game, just sitting there with his hands in his pockets, just going, like, yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's not that's not what you want to see. I, I think it's outrageous, honestly, I do. Now there's a lot for me which needs to change in the summer. And in fairness, the World Cup's already come at the wrong time because the focus isn't really going to be. I, I, I don't know, I, I just think the focus might be on looking for players who have performed well in the World Cup, but that's not what we should be doing. I think there needs to be changes on the board, changes in the players, definitely. Obviously, for me, there needs to be a change in the manager, there's no question about that. And um, the team bus is just down there. They've got out of there as soon as possible. When they came out again, like the, well, the, um, the last home game, I genuinely forgot who it was, Huddersfield, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, it just the, the, the clap around to the fans just. Everyone, pretty much everyone had left. Pretty much everyone had left today again as well. So I just just showed we put passion, we put money into this team, right? And that's the thing. Yeah, we we were so passionate about this team. We are students, right? So we are limited on money. This is what I mean. So I would. I'd be happy with you up and you me like. Look, look at this, right, mate. Obviously, clubs have different standards of. Do you know what it is? You know, Conte's let you do the last two games, hasn't he? He hasn't even put a foot. All he's wanted, because he's he's away next season for you, right? He's just thinking, if you cup, get a trophy, and that's my legacy. He's not bothered if you finish top four, so no. But, but that's the thing. That's the whole. That's the whole point, mate. But that's the whole point. You've got to show. He's hurt on me, like. <laughs> but that's the whole point, man. We've got. That, that's the thing. The care. That's. It's all about the care. That's, that's just that's what it comes down to, and I just think it's. Like, I, I, I consider myself quite a level-headed person. I don't tend to go mad on camera because I, I just don't think it's right. But you know, it definitely isn't the worst season that we've had in Chelsea, and there's been fans who've supported for much longer than us, and they've been through. I've seen they've seen the really dog days. But in fact, do you know in the past, even when we weren't as bad. At least we cared in those times as well. And now, now our ambitions have changed. That's obvious. Like, we have grown up watching Chelsea. Through, we've been very lucky to be able to pretty much live through, at the moment, a period of Chelsea's dominance in England and, not, well, in, in Europe in some cases. Obviously, we've got the Champions League. And I don't know. I just, I just find it hard to find more words to say. At the end of the day, it just... I'm, I'm going to repeat it again. It just comes to the fact that we as fans really love this club. And we and we actually put in the time and effort. We've put in a lot of money to get up here. We've put in a lot of money to get to Barcelona. And we don't really have the money for it, but we do it because we love it at the end of the day. And I can completely accept losing a game if we put passion in. Yeah. But losing a game where you stand around and you just don't do anything, that's the thing that hurts the most. And in fairness... I know we've got Europe, but it's not the Europe we should be having. It's not the Europe Chelsea need. And I, I can't believe we actually managed to finish fifth. 
it is, it's, in, it's incredible. And for me and for a lot of other people, this season's actually worse than the season we had 14 15, wasn't it? I think it was 14 15. Because there's been so many points in this season where we've built ourselves out of expectation of being knocked straight back down. But the, the last time we, uh, we, we did terrible after coming off the back of winning the league, I thought by December, we'd, that's it, that's, that's all right. So I just thought we'd let it be. And now it looks like we're, we're setting for the next few years of just p potential mediocrity. You know, sitting, sitting around the fifth, sixth, fifth and sixth mark potentially, because as we all know, the money's, in other, in other, the money's probably not going to be focused on the players. And I like, I'd, what, ideally for me, I'd like to see money pumped in on good players and then money pumped in the youth. Because you can do that. You can, you can use youth and you can buy players, because other teams do it. But I'm, I'm, almost, I'm pretty much out of stuff to say now.